Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Thanks, and you? Good, good. I'm doing okay. Thanks, Kevin. How was your day? Um, can't complain. It was good. Good, good, good. Were you home all day? Yes, yes. I was uh, at home all day. Okay. Did you do anything uh, in particular? Uh, not much, uh, uh, but I could get up late and in the afternoon I was studying uh, English and I at this time I already ate my dinner and I'm I'm ready to to get a class. Good, very good. What about you, Emmanuel? How was your day? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Emmanuel is raising his hand. Emmanuel, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Check your earphones. Okay, I hope he can hear me later. All right, um, Eduardo, how are you? Good evening, uh, I'm fine. Good, how was your day? Um, well, it was very, very good. I was working in the morning, my computer, and in the afternoon, around, let me see, 5 p.m. Uh, I play uh, football with my neighbors. <laughs> oh, okay. Were you using yes. a mask? <laughs> um, really? <laughs> I didn't use it uh, while I was playing. <laughs> okay. So were you playing in front of your house or in a park, in a field? Uh, in, the, in the street. Okay. In the, of the, I don't know, how can I say pasaje? Passage. Okay, passage. Okay. Uh, there I, there I, I was playing. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right, that's good. Um, Elizabeth, how are you? Can you hear us, Elizabeth? I guess not. All right. Alvaro. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. How was your day? Uh, no more, like every day. Okay. All right. Well, I can hear no. well, so. Okay, that's, that, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, so today is May 21st. This is our last class. Um, we finished the level today. Um, and hopefully, I don't know if you guys already sent all your, your paperwork, all your documents. Yes, I already sent it. Sent it. Okay. Okay, so for the ones that are still missing, I hope you do it either today or tomorrow. So you guys uh, have the chance to be part of the next level. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope. And, and what papers do they ask you for? What documents do you need to present to be part of this class? Mm. Just, just uh, the personal, personal documents like do we need? Uh huh. 
and that's it. Okay, uh, anything from your work? Do you need to present anything from your work? No, it's, uh, it's not, it's not necess necessary. Okay. All right, good, good. Okay, so today is the 21st, May 21st, 2020. Uh, let's talk about the topics we covered yesterday. Um, do you remember the topics we spoke about yesterday? Um, about past models, verbs. Past models, yes. Remember that when we use past models, it doesn't matter which model you're using, can, could, should, must, would. Um, there is nothing you can do to change what happened or what didn't happen. So uh, you say that uh, he must, uh, imagine that you see your neighbor, he's very happy. How do you say, el debió haber recibido buenas noticias? You are very sure because your neighbor is, is usually quiet, a little bit serious, but today he, he's very happy. So you're 100% sure that he received good news. So how would you say that? He must have received good news. Exactly. He must have received Good news. Debió haber recibido buenas noticias. So, like I said, your neighbor is a little bit serious. He's a little bit quiet. He doesn't talk that much. But today he's very different. He's happy. He's smiling. So you say to yourself, he must have received uh, good news. All right. Now, um, imagine that you take an exam and you don't pass it. And someone tells you, hubieras estudiado. That's not, uh, your, your friend is not sure about anything. He's giving you an advice about something that happened in the past. So how would you say it, hubieras estudiado? Can you guys hear me? You would have studied. Okay, you will have studied. Um, you would. Um, that is, would. usted habrá estudiado. You will have studied. So in that you case. Would. No, you would. You would. But what's the auxiliary or the model that we use to give suggestions or advice? Should. 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 So how do you make the whole structure? You should have uh, studied. Good. Hey, you should have studied. And then the other person says, yeah, next time I'll, I'll, I'll study more, right? Now, what is the model that we use to talk about hypothetical things? Would. Would. How do you say, yo hubiera puesto ese dinero en el banco? I would put my money in that bank. I would have, would have, I would have put that money in the bank. Would have, yo habría, would have put that money in the bank. Now imagine that uh, your friend falls from a second floor, but nothing happens to him. And then you tell him about something that was very possible. And then you tell him, te pudiste haber quebrado las piernas. How would you? Anybody? You could have, you could yeah. have broken your, your legs. Exactly. Or may? No, cool. Sure. Yeah. Um, do you remember the differences that we mentioned between may, might, and could? Um, the percent of 
possibility. Exactly. So which one is the strongest? Is cool. cool. Good. Right. Cool. So cool. It, Mate if, and might. Right. Which one is the weakest? Might. Uh, right. Might. So if you fall from a second floor, it's very possible that you can break your yes. legs. So how, yeah. will you, how will you tell your friend, te pudiste haber quebrado algo? You could, you could have, you could have broken. Broke. You could have could broken, you. you could have broken your leg. Yes. Right. Yes. All right. Um, any questions? So remember, we use models in past. When we see something, we hear something, someone tells us something, and you give your opinion about that particular incident in the past. So, um, or when you want to, uh, when you want to express regret about something that you did or didn't do in the past. Are we okay with that? It's yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, sorry. Sure. Opinion and regret. Uh, when you okay, like if I said, you know what, um, I had a small accident <laughs> with the motorcycle because I was distracted. So you. Yes. Uh, your... Sorry, teacher. So yes. I I can hear the first uh, part. Okay. I said, imagine that I have a small accident in a in a motorcycle. It's not serious. It's just uh, material damage. And, and I tell you, you know what? I had a small incident because I was distracted. So you tell me, hubieras puesto más atención, no hubieras estado distraído. You give your opinion about it. So, uh, mm -hmm. so, you, do, uh, so you give your opinion by using past models. Yes, okay. Got it? Yes. Thank All right. you. Right. Sure. Anybody else has any other questions? No. Yes. Um, it's, it's difficult for me um understand no. No under, not understand the difference uh if um the uh, the answer depends uh, on the my intention, my intention, and your opinion exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, 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 yes. Uh, the uh, from the same question, um, could 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 have different sentences exactly. It depends what message you want to send. Okay. Yes, and that's the reason why I was telling you uh, the function of could, must, should, would, because all of them, they express uh, a different message. So when you are very sure about something, uh, you say must. So, so the, uh -huh. there is no definite, definitive answer no no okay. it, it depends okay. on what message you want to send okay okay yes. thanks so uh like i said you can say he could have he should have he must have he would have it depends what exactly you want to say okay all right um uh, anybody else has any other questions or comments about past models No. no. All right. So no. I, I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. I will give you only five minutes for you to speak about regrets that you have in your life. For example, I tell my wife, hubiera ahorrado dinero cuando estaba más joven. How will you say that in English? I should, uh -huh. I should, I should have saved more money. When I was young. Very good. I should have saved more money when I was younger. Yes. 
exactly. So you, you think about your life. If you don't want to share uh, the things that you really regret, just use your imagination and just make whatever sentence. So um, are the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, and the others, only one person responded. Luis, Elizabeth, Maricela, Christian, yes, Pedro. Yes. All right, so I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Um, what are we right here? But for some reason, okay, so I will make six pairs. And here we go. <laughs> the button is not responding. Now it did. But this topic is it's a little difficult. But something about that I would like to no 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 about regret Sorry. about regrets regret. we had we had in, in the past. Right. How, how do you how do you how do you say casarse in English? Marry. Marry. Uh, get married. Marry. Get married. What is, the, what is the what is the what is the past participle of get? Got, got, gotten, got, got? gotten, gotten. Got is the simple past. Got. Gotten is the past participle. So how do you say no me hubiera casado tan joven? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, have gotten married. Uh, married. Married. Married I've young. Married. Okay, good. I shouldn't have gotten married too young, too soon, too early. Too young. Yes. Very oh, good. Okay. Very good. So I should end. English several years ago. And possible I could have cleaned it. Other position in the in the factory. Good. Hubiera ido ganar la lotería a los diez años. Okay. Exact number. How to say lotería in English? Maybe Francisco knows the word. <laughs> yeah, lottery. Lottery. <laughs> yeah, lottery. Lo okay. With air, with air. Lottery. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, 
I I should I should want to to win the lottery the lottery when I was ten years old. Good. Mm -hmm. Can you re can can you repeat it, please? Yes, I should have wanted to win the lottery when I was ten years old. Good. <laughs> Santo Tomás. Oh, and there, there there's there's not a, I don't know some some kind of establishment that 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 sells uh, cakes that you can no. buy one. That no. They, no? The no, and that I like uh, that something I like. No, no. Bonbon. I want my cake, my birthday cake. Um, what What if you What if you What if you bake one? Like <laughs> so. Uh, this is This is the reason because I I said I could have had my children at my twenty five. I really early. Why? Because uh, uh, I, ha I, I don't know, how do you say, yo tuviera. I would have. I would have. I would have more energy for, uh, for uh, uh, cuidarlos, criarlos. To care take, to your children. Take for, care. For take care. Uh -huh. Just take care. Right now, I'm tired. <laughs> so. Really? But the yeah. Saturday, I will be uh, 25, and, and I I think I'm not prepared to, to I don't know, take a children. Yes, yes, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I um, I didn't. Want I, to. I did. I did not want uh, marry and have children. Uh, but yeah. right now, right now, I think maybe I could have in my twenty-five. Yeah, I but <laughs> I think that right now in my twenty-five, I don't like children. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now you see things different. Uh huh. It, yeah. It's different. My yeah. my 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 mi pensamiento. My my thought. My thought. Uh -huh. Okay, Jennifer, you're only twenty five. Yes, yeah, Saturday. My goodness! Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, Teacher, is is um, I I my sentences is when I in my youth when I young and she say I think the last week in the last year and I say how how old are you and yeah. she say twenty five ah uh, so you are young right now <laughs> she don't have sentences when I <laughs> yeah when I was. Uh-huh, when I was young, she's young right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right. We finish. All right, <laughs> let's go back to the main session. Okay. Did you guys finish practicing uh, past models? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, yeah. Remember, it doesn't matter what exactly you want to say. You always use the model plus have plus the verb in past participle. So it really doesn't matter what exactly you want to say. Uh, just make sure that you're using model, have, in past participle of the verb. Any questions or comments? No. No? No. No teacher. Okay. Now, who remembers how many grammatical tenses we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve is correct. There are twelve tenses in English. Um, what are the first two tenses that you usually see in academies? Simple future, I think. 
present and simple past. Okay. All right. Uh, who remembers the function of the simple present? What is the function of the simple present tense? Have you heard um, about in, the simple present? In order to talk about um, general and um, common activities, for example, the, the job of a person, he is a um, teacher, for example. Okay, right, mm -hmm. right. Yes, when you talk about general activities or actions you do on a regular basis, uh, you use the simple present tense. Now, what is the function of the present continuous tense? What is the function? Um, present, present continuous is the same. Uh, present progressive is the same. Yes. Yeah, it's the same. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I'm talking. Good. No? So, what does that tell mm -hmm. you when you say I am talking? Mm, action an action that what are I, happening. What I am doing in the in the in this moment. See, in exactly. This moment, yes. Yes. Just like uh, mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth and Eduardo are saying, uh, actions that are happening in this moment, actions that are in progress, you use present progressive. So they have different functions. <laughs> so keep something in mind. Mm -hmm. Simple present is for actions that happen all the time, all the time. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, it's very general. If we talk about the present continuous, then we're talking about something that is not general, but something that is taking place in this moment. Do you see the difference? Yes. Yes. So, yes. for, for example, yes, imagine, you say, I am from San Miguel, but right now I'm staying in San Salvador. Then you're making a, uh, I am from San Miguel, that's simple present, general information. But you say, but I'm staying in San Salvador at this moment. So you use present continuous. Um, <laughs> remember, you can use the simple present and you can use the present continuous also for future events. So I can say they mm -hmm. will reopen all the factories. Uh, no, they reopen all the factories in June. Ellos van a reabrir. They will reopen the factories in June. Oh, they, yeah. okay. they reopen factories in June. So I'm using simple present. But June makes reference to future. So if you want to use the simple present or the present continuous for a future event, you need to have a time expression that will indicate that whatever you're saying is related to the future tense. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Could you bring us another example, teacher, yeah. please? Sure, sure. Uh, you can say, I rest Friday and Saturdays. That is simple present because it's general information. I rest Fridays and Saturdays, but because of the emergency, I'm working every day. So I rest Friday and Saturday. That is simple present. That is general. But because of the emergency, I'm working every day. So I'm making a combination of something that I usually do and I'm making a comparison with what I'm doing right now. I have a question. Teacher. Yes, Eduardo. In, in the sentence, um, uh, what you said a moment ago, uh, because the emergency, I'm working every because it means uh, debido or por la emergency. Yes, o por la razón a. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So because mm -hmm. introduces um, a reaction 
or a result or a consequence mm -hmm. of, of why something happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, um, any other questions or comments? No? Oh, no. All right, no. so I'm, I'm going teacher, to show... Teacher, yes, yes. About, uh, I'm sorry for the question, but oh. about, the, about the, the classes, the, this is the last class, right? For, for the level, yes, Elizabeth. And the next week uh, start the, the next level or... Uh, that's a very or good question. We have vacations. <laughs> no, uh, let, let me tell you how it works, especially if this is your first time working with English Corporativo in support. We finish yes, today, we finish today, and usually we start the following Monday. So the you have three days off. You have Friday, Saturday, oh, Sunday. The same. The, just, just the same. <laughs> Just the same, but <laughs> it depends how many people may, how many people have their documents ready. If the number of people that send the documents is already big enough, we start this coming Monday. If it's not, then we have to wait one week. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, in, okay. Inglés Corporativo is going to send you um, an email or maybe they will send you a, yes. a message in, in the WhatsApp chat and they will tell you if we start this coming Monday or the following one. All right. And mm -hmm. not, not always the same teacher. Uh, sometimes, uh, usually they rotate. Uh, sometimes they, they keep the same uh, teacher. So it's very unpredictable what's going to happen uh, okay. with, with you guys. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thanks. Hey. All right, good. Thank yes. You. Any other questions or comments? Could no. you tell us the 12 uh, tenses, teacher, please? Only the uh, names. Yeah, of the 12 tenses? Yes. Sure. We have simple present, Simple past, present continuous, past continuous, simple future, future continuous, present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, future perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and present perfect continuous. That is 12. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Sure, sure. So um, those are the names of the 12 tenses. In some cases, they divide will and they divide going to. So they say will is one thing, going is another one. But in reality, the two are used for, for future events. So we have 12 tenses. Yes, yes, okay. And, and just remember that every tense has a different function. Every tense has a different structure. Yes, All right. yes. Yeah. So, so when you guys finish um, reviewing, studying the 12 tenses, um, we expect that you guys are uh, um, very fluent with the language. And if, if let's say one day you have to stop studying for whatever reason just make sure that if you uh if you know the 12 tenses very well your fluency is going to be much better yes right anybody else has any other questions or comments no no it's clear no okay so i'm going to assign you to be working in pairs um it's an image and you have to decide whether the answer comes in the simple present or the present continuous. Do you see the image? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. You go one by one until you get to number 12 and just keep something in mind. If the information is general, you use 
present simple. If the action is in progress or the action is in, in, in is happening at the time you're speaking, then you use present continuous. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. Here we go. Samuel Romero, ¿qué hay? ¿No te fuiste a room? Hola, hola, hola. Hello, hello. I return automatically here. Okay, what group are you in, uh, Samuel? Uh, the five, but uh, this is close. It's written here. Okay, uh, let me send you to number four.
what time the bank the bank opens or not? Yes, what time the bank the bank opens? Opens with with S at the at the end. At the end, right? Yeah. Uh, which number? Okay, number eight. eight. Uh, number eight. Okay, number what, eight. Is, what is what is the complete question? What time the bank the bank opens? Maybe I think. Okay. Now remember, uh, when we yeah. are using simple present or present simple, um, to make questions, you will use do and does. Um, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. So when you talk about what the time bank, do the bank, does the bank open? Uh, does the bank? Okay. Yeah. What yes. time does, what the, time bank does the bank open? open? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, All yes. All right. It's true. All right. Okay. Number nine. Hmm? Do you do you kiss me now? I have a kiss, but yes. What? Sorry. Number number ten. The verb is meet. I'm really sorry, clear, but you. Uh, I am really sorry, clear. Todos los días, a la misma hora. What time the bank open? But I'm not sure because it's a question. Now remember, when we use the present simple or simple present and you're making a question, in this case, you have to use do and does. The bank is third person singular. So what would be the best option? Well, but uh, I, I don't know how to use that in this case because it's a WH question. What time does, well, yes, that what time does the bank open? Exactly, exactly. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, that, that, that's the correct answer. Okay. okay, the next one is, are you kidding me now? <laughs> yes, in English. Yeah, requirements, you use criteria instead. Of okay, I understand. Thank you. Uh, yeah, then that's one. Everyone is working on the project now. Are working. Yeah, Everyone. are. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's, it's plural, yeah. Everyone, are, yes. Are, are working. Teacher. Yes. I'm waiting for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, 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 what happened in the eight and nine sentences? Okay. Questions. Number eight. Uh, eight is, is a, what time does the bank open? Good. Excellent. And number okay. nine. And, and then, and nine. I don't know. What is the meaning of you to kid me now? I don't know. Uh huh. So, for example, you said, you know what? Uh, I won the lottery. And the person listening to you doesn't believe you, doesn't take your word. And she says, Are you kidding me? Ah. Kid. Kidding. Kid, it, it kidding. Is. Ah, okay. Estás tomando el pelo? Estás bromeando? Kidding. Okay. Are you kidding me? Excuse me. Okay, so uh, yeah. are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Kidding exactly, me. exactly. But the, but the meaning of kid is not the same to a child. And, it, it and is. What is the difference with a child? Okay, in this case, um, when you say kidding me, you're saying, me estás tomando el pelo o estás bromeando. But the word kid is a synonym of child too. But in this case, it's when you're joking. Okay, it's K-A-I? K-I-D-D-I-N-G. I-N-G, that is correct. 
Uh, this is the reason because we don't understand because you kid me now. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you kidding? That is, are you kidding me? Right, right. It's another form to say, are you serious? Uh, okay, okay. All right, good. All right, let's go back. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a I have a doubt about the number nine. Number what nine. What is the meaning of uh, of nine to kid? What is the meaning of that? Okay, remember that um, in English we use a lot of idiomatic expressions. Um, if I tell you, Emmanuel, I won the lottery. Yeah. And if you don't believe me, your reaction is going to be, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you joking? Ah, all right. <laughs> all right. Vacilarme. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> are you so, kidding me? The answer is, are you kidding me now? Vacilarme. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, we don't knew the, the, the meaning of the kid. <laughs> Yeah, so so kidding me like they, she's kidding you, don't worry. He's kidding you, don't worry. That means that the person is not serious with you. But, but yeah. we thought uh, that to kid is referred about a child, for example. Right, right, and, and it is. But in that case, it's it's not a noun, it's a verb. If you see, it says to kid. So it's I, a verb. So uh, the, the, the right answer is, are you kidding me now? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. And number 12, okay. we have another doubt. Okay. Yes. And number seven and number eight, please. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, the, the answer Just in the last check. one? Just to check. Last one. Okay, let, let me see. We use in all order. our leadership training room. Okay. But this year we... Oh. Okay, what is oh, number yeah. one? I need a volunteer to do number one. They never, never clean. clean. Clean up after clean. his mess. Clean. 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 clean clean or cleans? Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. With the clean S. Up. Because David third is third person singular. Yeah. So yeah. S to the verb. It's uh, number two, Deborah. Uh-huh. He's preparing, preparing dinner, dinner at the moment. moment. Good. What about number three? Uh, I, I am talking with my friend now. I am talking with my friend now. Okay. Number four? We have a briefing every Monday morning. Good. Number five? Does, Is he playing? Does he play, no, 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 no. Does he play basketball now? Okay. Um, Is he playing? Is, is he not? playing no. basketball playing. now? Yeah, remember, when okay. you say now in English, it means in this moment. Yes. Uh, saying continues. He, yeah. yeah. Is he playing, he playing basketball, basketball. He's playing basketball now. now? Okay, very good. What about number six? Look, our cat. Is sleeping. Is it sleeping. Is sleeping. Number sleeping. seven? Are yeah. you coming to the party? Are you coming to the party? Are you coming to the party? What about number eight? Okay. What time? What what time Are you does coming? the barn open? What time does the uh, open? <laughs> what time does the barn open? open? Yeah. Yes. Number nine. Okay. Are you kidding, Are you kidding me, now? me now? Are you Are kidding, you kidding me, now? me now? Uh huh. What will be number ten? I'm really sorry, there, but you don't meet our criteria. Okay. Or good. Not. Good. What about number eleven? Everyone is working. He's working on the project. In the, the project, project now. now. Exactly. And number 12, we usually hold our leadership training in Rome. But this year, we... We are holding. We're holding, 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 holding it. it. 
Okay. We are holding it. Yes. Holding it. Yeah. Yes. Because the, the okay. first part of number 12, he makes reference to something that happens all the time. So we usually, now when we say usually, you're talking about an adverb of frequency and you're talking about things that happen on a regular basis. But this year, when you say, but this year, that means that the following information is going to be different. Any yeah. questions about this exercise? No. All right. Now, if we compare the simple past with the present perfect, what is the difference? Simple past and present perfect. What is the difference? Simple past or present? Uh, simple past and present perfect. Uh, it's, com uh. it's completely different from what we have in the screen right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh. I think simple past is for uh, finish action. And simple present for uh, present perfect past, but it's possible uh, it happened in this moment. Okay. Someone else wants to give your opinion? Just the verb. Okay. What happens with the verb? When you are using simple past, the verb uh, regular or irregular, it's changed for okay. the past version as we can say that all right and in simple present or present perfect yeah, present and perfect I mean, i'm sorry the verb is in present right it, that's that's where i understand okay someone else wants to give your opinion it's like like eduardo lopez i i, I think uh -huh. uh, past but, uh, simple past is when the action is already finished and present perfect is when the action was happened but it's possible to to continue okay to, to continue right good all right so um i yes. i i think i yes. think Simple, simple past is about the action you finish in the past. Okay. In the past. In, in, in present perfect is maybe uh, action, maybe is past, but for example, I, I broke in something. Are leading now, moment of the, the, the time is, is short and simple pass is very long. Okay, all right. Um, someone else, okay, just like you guys said, when you use the simple past tense, you're talking about finished activities, they are history. If you talk about present perfect. It's the opposite. Actions are not finished. When you use the present perfect, maybe when you're talking, you are doing the action. So it's not finished. Um, you can say, I have been in Nicaragua three times, but right now I'm in El Salvador. But maybe in December, maybe next year, I return to Nicaragua. So the action is not finished because I'm not dead. So I can say, I have been with you guys since eight o'clock and I'm still here and I'm still talking with you. Or I can say okay. I've been in Mexico two times, right now I'm in El Salvador, but I can go back to Mexico in the future. So it's not finished either. So just for you to have a, a, a general idea of how tenses work, how every tense uses a different structure to give a particular message according to what you are saying. 
Any questions so far? Oh, no, no, also? sir. All right, so it's time to finish the class. I don't know if we're going to start this coming Monday or the following. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be your teacher or if you guys will have someone else. Uh, I just want to thank you for making the space. I know you guys are not working. Well, some of you are, but making the space at eight o'clock, it's not that easy, especially because you guys have some other things to do. So thank you very much for your time. And um, I hope to see you again. Yeah. I have the same. Okay. We're going thank to you, get teacher. a message, I guess, for the next class, yes, for the uh, next model. Yes, you will get either an email or you will receive a text message in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Yes. Good night. All right, good night. You I guys take so. care. Thank, thank you for all. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys take thank care. All your thank you for You're an the excellent. patience. You're an excellent okay. teacher. Yes. Thank you, thank you. You thank guys you are really good. Thank you for your patience. God bless right. you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Thanks, for, thanks for understanding my English. <laughs> good, good. Bye. 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 See your patience. All right. Yeah, be patient. All right, Bye. good. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night.